I want to welcome everybody to our Student Leadership Award Ceremony, the Wararis. This year, we have the opportunity to do something different. We have been in a pandemic, but Lion Nation stayed strong. Lion Nation stayed fit to the cores, and nothing stopped them from servicing our students, our community, and that service went to the extended worldwide. We have made an impact here and there. The format of today, we're gonna to thank our outgoing officers of what we call our class one organizations, our Phi Theta Kappa, our Vanguard, our student government. We wanna thank them. We'll go around the Zoom at some point and then we are gonna inaugurate the incoming student leaders. Then we're going to introduce what we call the Rory's. And I'll explain that a little more in detail uh, a little later. We will highlight our Student Leadership Awards page, which, will hi which highlights our student clubs. So I wanna kind of give you the lay of the land. So without further ado, again, my name is Genevia Weaver. I'm the Director of Student Engagement, and I'm here with an awesome team, uh, Assistant Dean Richard Kopp, uh, our brilliant marketer, Sarja Devergi, and we'll be working together to make sure this program is given to you with the zest and the passion that we feel every day. And we thank you for allowing us to serve you. So I'm gonna pass this Zoom mic to our president, Dr. Donald Guy Generals. Good afternoon, everyone. It's really so good to see you all. Um, I too wanna to congratulate you. Making sure I'm not on mute, right? You're hearing me, <laughs> my screen changed. I wanna congratulate you and celebrate your efforts over this past year, despite the, the, the tragedy of COVID-19 and our inability to meet face-to-face, -face, you all continue to step up as leaders and to provide guidance and support and excitement for um, the student life here at Community College of Philadelphia. Um, today, we're here to award student members and inductees of Phi Theta Kappa, Student Government Association, and the Vanguard, and also students who have completed their student leadership certificates. I think leadership Cannot be, um, cannot be overstated. You know, it's really important that you all um, demonstrate your leadership by your activities and by your involvement and engagement in the school. You know, this past year, it makes, it makes me particularly happy, happy to um, be able to gather, albeit virtually, to celebrate the good that has transpired. While working and attending classes remotely, you all were able to find times to put together programs, to be involved in the life of the college, and to enhance that life um, through your activities and the things that you've done. These awards show our students have made time for community, which is really what it's about. I mean, we're Community College of Philadelphia, so that term community means a lot. Um, while also completing your schoolwork and other responsibilities amid the COVID-19 pandemic, which I'm sure demanded certain responsibilities in your home life and your community as well. Um, your resiliency and your, the potential both in and out of the classroom never seeks to amaze me. I hope that the positive recognition and display of events today will motivate and inspire the rest of the college as we move forward. Um, hopefully, um, we'll see each other face to face sooner than later um, as we head to the final hurdles of this pandemic. Um, and so without further ado, let me once again say congratulations on your work. Congratulations <coughs> on the job. Well done. I'd like to also congratulate the team. Genevia and, and Richard and David and all of them, I'm gonna forget somebody's name, but you know who you are, those of you who work in student life to continue to motivate students and engage them in this work. It's incredibly important, not just for what they do for the college, but how it develops them as leaders, ultimately, which will um, provide benefits to their communities in this city. So once again, thank you all and um, have a great day. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Generals. Thank you so much. I want to hand the Zoom mic over to our Vice President, Dr. Sam Hirsch. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I want to add my congratulations as well. Um, and I'm going to echo a lot of what Dr. Generals just, just said. This has been a tough year. And we've all had to adjust our lives. We had to adjust how we teach, learn, communicate virtually. And I think we've done it well. And I wanna congratulate everyone first on doing it well. Um, actually um, more than well. I, I think you- I wanna learn a little bit about what your kind of education and career aspirations me, are. Could everybody, let me mute everybody, excuse me, doctor. Could everybody please mute themselves? I can do that for you too. Hear about your pathways and- Hold on, somebody's at work, they're hard at work. <laughs> Hold on. 
there you go. So Dr. Hirsch, you're going to have to, Dr. Hirsch, if you can just unmute yourself and you can continue, excuse that. Okay. okay. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can. All right, great. So uh, what I was saying is you've more than done it well. Uh, you've exceeded. And that's why we're all here today. Um, you know, you can continue to inspire me and everyone um, uh, on your resilience, your leadership roles, your ability to take on more than anyone, um, take on additional scope of responsibility, take on a leadership responsibility, get involved in a club or organization. You've done it. And today is about recognizing what you've done and congratulating you on doing that. We certainly at the Community College of Philadelphia Leadership appreciate all of that because you are part of our infrastructure, of our backbone. You are part of what we're all about. And I, I couldn't be more proud um, with you know everyone I see um, on this Zoom and, and those who couldn't make it today. I also wanna recognize excuse me, our student advise, our faculty advisors who I see are on this Zoom as well. I want to congratulate the both outgoing officers and incoming officers of our various organizations like PTK. And again, uh, and the uh, students who will be inducted um, today uh, as well. So I want to end by one of the themes on our new Rory's um, that we'll get into in, in a few minutes. Um, and that's thanking you for your various acts of kindness. I think we've been able to persevere or get through this past year uh, because of that, because people have been generous. They've reached out to others to help, knowing that there's some help that's, that's needed out there. So thank you for your acts of kindness. And I think as they say in Hollywood, on with the show. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Hirsch, thank you so much. Okay, so this is how we're gonna get into our, um, our virtual celebration. I'm gonna hand the Zoom mic over to our student Vanguard, our faculty advisor, Eva Blackwell, and then we'll continue from there. So Eva? Okay, thank you so much and um, I'm really glad to be here today. I wanna to share with you what the Vanguard mission statement is. It's from a scholar's view, sharing stories, research and resources that shape the Community College of Philadelphia and its community. I want to um, personally thank the 2020, the 2020 and 2021 editorial board. For 2020, we had Brianna Brown, Joe DeFeo, and Nastasia Holm. In 2021, we changed things up just a little bit, but again, we had Brianna Brown as our editor-in-chief, Angelique Bacha, Layla Franklin, and Corey Williams. And also, I just want to make a special note about the Vanguard, because this year, in 2021, they are the Keystone Media Award winners of four awards. So congratulations to the Vanguard on um, just working so hard during this really, really tough time. Thank you. If we can just unmute ourselves for a second, that deserves a overwhelming rounds of applause for the student band. <laughs> These awards. They are in competition with four-year institutions, correct? And other uh, institutions that sometimes believe that they will automatically outrank our stellar journalistic um, prowess that Eva, under her direction and the students have done, but they win every time. So congratulations, Eva. Congratulations to the student vanguard. I know uh, many of them work and I know many of them have outside obligations, but we want to take this opportunity to say thank you. They have produced a absolutely stellar paper. And if you have not seen it, check it out. <laughs> check it out. Can you give them the website, Eva? I will put it in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now we're going to move to our um, Phi Theta Kappa um, 
advisor. I'm always shocked at this as well. Um, so five. Kappa has two advisors. Um, I'm one of them. I am the uh, administrative advisor, but I'm going to hand to Dr. Sarah Ibsen. I am patiently searching the Zoom because I know she's here because she signed in early. Yeah. There she is, Dr. <laughs> Sarah Ibsen. Um, and Dr. Sarah Ibsen, uh -uh, where are you? There you go. Let's put you on here. And we're going to, there you go, Sarah. Okay. <laughs> How are you? So oh, Phi right. Beta Kappa, we have a couple of things to do with this uh, wonderful organization. All right, Sarah. So good afternoon. Um, I'm Dr. Sarah Ibsen. I am an associate professor of art history and in the liberal arts honors program here at the college. And um, obviously I'm one of the advisors for Phi Theta Kappa. Phi Theta Kappa, the mission is to recognize the academic achievement of honor of college students and provide opportunities for its members to grow as scholars and leaders. For more than 100 years, Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society has helped millions of high achieving college students reach their full potential. We don't just recognize their academic success, we give them opportunities to develop professional and leadership skills, earn scholarships and explore career paths. Our chapter, Rho Upsilon, is part of the Middle States region of Phi Theta Kappa. We induct around 300 students per year to our chapter and have been a recognized five-star chapter for over 40 years. We welcome new members to the chapter and hope you'll consider joining the officer team or becoming an active volunteer during your time at CCP. I've been advising our chapter since 2008, and though I'm proud of the officer team each and every year, this crew really rose to the challenge that was presented by COVID. They had the chance to take the easy road and just get through, but they took the road much less traveled and ensured that our chapter once again maintained its five-star status in the academic year. So thank you to this amazing team, and a few of them are here today, Dan, Angie, Ramon, Yusha, Warren, for um, your gumption and your drive and congratulations to you guys. And so happy to have several of you continuing with us again next year. So if you could kindly, at this time, our Row Upsilon uh, chapter officers, if you can say your name, your major and your position. And if you're outgoing or you're incoming, I know that we've been doing a lot of work virtually. However, our president and our vice president, our dean and assistant dean, a lot of people don't know the great work you've done and you do have a face. <laughs> so please, um, as I call your name, as I see you around the Zoom, I'll just call. So the first one up is Ramon. Hi, I'm Ramon gonzalez Chalstream. Uh, I am a continuing board member, uh, our, our little executive board here, and uh, I'm in the liberal arts major. Okay, you sir? Hello, everyone. I'm Yusra Ali. I'm an incoming officer of PCK, and I'm a liberal arts honors major. Great. Uh, Dan? Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Dan Wiedemeyer. I am a liberal arts honors uh, major, and I am an outgoing officer on the PTK executive board. Angelina? <laughs> yes, I'm Angelina. I am an outgoing officer um, for PTK. I am an English major. Might as well. All righty. Warren? Hi, my name is Warren Johns. I am a current member of, P a current officer of PTK, and my major is also liberal arts honor. All right. Now I'm going to ask. If I miss any of our officers, because I am doing my yeoman's best, have I missed any PTK officer? If you can just speak up. If not, then we are going to add this spotlight to our esteemed dean, who absolutely, I have to say, is truly student-centered and supports us and champions all things good and great um, in terms of student success. So. I see him and I added the spotlight now. I don't see his camera. Dave, are you there? Dave? Dean Asensio? I added you. Did okay. We're looking for our Dean. There he I see his camera. Let's undo. Let's see. Maybe something. Unmute. 
Unmute yourself, Dave. Are you there? Okay, so we're gonna move right along. Maybe again, if he had the challenge I had this morning, I understand. I totally understand. So I'm gonna ask um, Assistant Dean Richard Kopp to, uh, well, before we begin that, um, Warren is gonna give some highlights of the chapter and perhaps by, uh, by the time he finished giving the highlights of the chapter, who's worked really hard, um, our Dean will be back on the Zoom. So Warren, the Zoom mic is yours. Perfect. I thought I was getting jumped over, but it's perfect. I'm no, here. not at all. So, hello, my friends. <laughs> That's great. Uh, hello. Again, my name is Warren Johns, and I am a, a liberal arts honors major, and I'm, a, again, a current officer with the Rho Epsilon chapter of Phi Theta uh, Kappa. Now, the officer team was small but powerful in the last academic year. Despite the inability to meet in person or to host in-person events, this team still produced a wonderfully interactive forum during professional development week. This event brought together students and faculty to discuss the way in which community could be built in the online world of teaching and learning. Through this discussion, we learned a lot about ourselves, how we best learn, how we interact with our peers and our instructors, and we gained awareness of the difficult tasks that the faculty face in, the bringing, in bringing our class to us in the virtual forum. This spring, we will be bringing you registration cheat sheets, say that 10 times fast, to help you properly, properly navigate your journey through selecting fall courses. Stay tuned. Now, please join me in giving a round of applause to Dean Ascentio and Assistant Dean Cop and the advisors and officers of PTK for their work over the past 12 months. I need yourself, please. And pass right next to the mic so I went here. All righty. Okay. So again, virtually, this has not been an easy task, um, but they did it. That's what leadership is all about, is figuring out a way to get it done. You are the problem solvers. You are the innovators. Um, if you were not built for it, then you would be a um, someone in training. We'll just say a, a member. So we're going to uh, pass the Zoom mic over to our assistant dean, Cop, who will administer the oath um, to our incoming Phi Theta Kappa um, officers. Richard? Can everybody hear me? Yeah, a little. Yeah, go ahead. We got okay. a little. Is it better now? Much better, yes. Okay. All right, here we go. So uh, it gives me great pleasure to uh, induct the new officers of Phi Theta Kappa, and we will now swear them in. So for all new officers, please unmute yourself at this time, and you'll repeat it after me, line by line, as we go through the oath of my office that you see here on the screen. Where it says, state your name, please state your name. Don't repeat it as such. <laughs> All right, that's your first test to see if you can be an officer. <laughs> right, Sarah? <laughs> okay, new officers, unmute yourself. Repeat after me line by line. I, Richard Kapp. I, sorry, sorry. I, Warren John. Do solemnly promise. Do solemnly, solemnly promise. Solemnly promise. To uphold the standards of Phi Theta Kappa. To uphold, to uphold the standards the of Phi Theta, theta Kappa. kappa. And to maintain, and to maintain, and to maintain, by honest and independent endeavor, by, by honest, honest and, and independent, independent endeavor, endeavor, the ideals of scholarship, the, the ideals, ideals of scholarship, scholarship, for which this organization stands, which this, for which this, this organization, organization stands. stands. You are charged with the responsibility of learning the duties of your office and executing those duties to the best of your ability. Now, please repeat after me, line by line, one last time. I, Richard Kopp, I, I, Warren John, do solemnly promise to fulfill, do solemnly, do solemnly, solemnly promise, promise to, fulfill, to fulfill, to the best of my ability, to the best, to the best, of, the of, best my of my ability, my duties as and responsibilities as, my, du my duties as, as and responsibilities as, as, an officer of the Rho Epsilon chapter, 
officer, an officer of the Rho Epsilon, Epsilon chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. Of Phi, of Phi Theta, Theta Kappa. Kappa. Further, I pledge allegiance. Further, Further I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to my fellow officers and members. My fellow, my fellow, my fellow officers, officers and, members. and members. And promise to aid them. And, and promise to aid them. them in all worthy endeavors. In all, in all, in all worthy, worthy endeavors. endeavors. You are now duly recognized as the executive officers of the Rho Epsilon chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. Oh. We pledge the support of the members of this chapter to you. Congratulations and welcome. If everyone can un uh, kindly unmute themselves and give them a round of applause. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Got work to do, and you're doing great. Thank you, Sister Dane Cop. Um, and thank you, Sarah. We've been doing this a long time. Sarah it has been absolutely amazing. If you don't understand the difference between the, the roles of the advisors, you should, because it makes a difference. Sarah is day to day. She is at the meetings. She makes sure that they stay right and steady in the row upsilon excellence five stars everything she makes us she stays in the know i'm kind of like the oil in the machine to make sure they have what they need to make sure that we keep this institution really exalted in terms of honor and scholarship and fellowship so we work together um i thank you i thank you all and we got a lot of work to do let's keep doing it line strong okay so we went through our vanguard we went through our uh honor society let me uh do my yeoman's bets and uh, get everybody out here. <laughs> and um, we're gonna move to our student government association. Um, I would like to introduce our new faculty advisor, Dr. Jeffrey Markovitz. And I'm going to let him give you a little bit of his background because he's new. I really wanna acknowledge the, the work that um, Dr. Linda Carr, did previously she had stepped into a larger role at the college and um richard you put me back <laughs> i don't let me let me get her on here um there we go i'm gonna find jeff i saw him i saw him dr linda there he is thank you uh dr linda carr stepped into a larger role at the college who's and moving the college forward in terms of our public health programming and uh, prior to that she stepped in to assume the role after dr lisa johnson and again between the two of them they made a phenomenal um, foundation and now that mantle has been handed over to Dr. Jeffrey Markovitz. So I want to say thanks to Jeff because he's tried and true in student leadership and he's always been a great partner and we have immense confidence. So Jeff, you got the Zoom mic. Everybody, can you hear me? How you doing? Doing can good. You hear we hear you. All right, all right. Just making sure. I'm new at this, right. remember? Um, so yeah, um, it's good to see everybody. It's good to see a lot of the outgoing and incoming officers. Uh, we've been chatting for the last couple of weeks about some strategies and things that we're going to do moving forward with the, the obvious still uncertainty about how um, we're going to be able to use the campus in the future. But I do want to acknowledge the past officers who are outgoing and graduating and just say they've done an amazing job in what is obviously the most difficult uh, year in CCP history. And the, the amount of work you were able to accomplish in uh, these parameters is truly astounding, and I'm very, very proud of that and honored to do it with you. To the new uh, officers coming in, I'm also very, very excited to see what we can accomplish moving forward. Uh, there's obviously a lot of work to get done and a lot of uncertain territory, but it should be exciting. Um, so thank you all. I think that Student Government Association in general is uh, one of the more important aspects of a, of a college community because it truly is where the students can find their voice and real change can, can come for students. So it's really, really important work and I'm honored to be a part and to, to help you uh, achieve the dreams that you sort of set forth or see in this role. Um, I've been tasked with reading a singular sentence. So everyone cross your fingers and make sure I don't mess up the mission statement of the SGA. So here goes uh, the mission of the Community College of Philadelphia Student Government Association is to provide a united voice for the student body of the college, encourage community engagement, and provide opportunities for the practice of leadership, academic success, and social skills. I think I did all right. So that's us, that's me, <laughs> <I> move on. 
I am, I'm going through our Zoom. So first of all, thank you, Jeff. Um, I want to, um, I'm highlighting those that are in our outgoing uh, student government, uh, but I want to first um, have them as I highlight you. Can you please say your name and your position? And again, we work with you day to day, but a lot of people don't see your wonderful faces as we do. So if you can say your name, your position and your major as I go through this. <laughs> Sure, my name is Mariah Litt. I'm the outgoing president of the Student Government Association. Um, I'm graduating this Saturday Woo! Woo with a in secondary education with a concentration in humanities and social studies. All righty. Hi, everyone. My name is Rama Arab. I'm the second vice president of the SGA, and my major is healthcare studies, and I'm also graduating um, this Saturday. Um, thank you, everyone. All righty. Uh, Okay, I'm going to start adding the new people, our new officers to the Zoom. Um, as I add you, please do this. And here we go. All righty, keep going. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Maud Mitchell. Um, I'm the incoming president elect of the Student Government Association. Um, my, my major is culinary arts. Okay. <laughs> Somebody jump in there. Bonjour. Go Bonjour, ahead. mon ami. C'est moi, Jawa. Um, I am the incoming SGA first vice president, and I am an engineering major. All right. Keep going. Somebody Hi, jump my in name there. is Justice Passe. I am the student uh, second vice president of SGA, and I major in MIS. Okay, somebody. Hey, somebody. My name is Robert McLaughlin. I am the incoming marketing and events coordinator. I'm also disabled veteran for veterans out there. And my degree is business general right now. Hey, somebody. Hi, my name is Tyree. I'm a CS major going on three years at Community and graduating late fall 2022. Uh, happily through my endeavors here, I found the mission to dedicate myself to. And it is my help that in my role as treasurer that I'm able to lay the groundwork for its realization know that I don't take this position lightly. And while in it, I'd like to be a champion of fiscal responsibility and literateness. Really, I've been pondering a question. Now I pose it to you. What does it mean to treasure CCP? Thank you. Okay. Somebody else jump in there. Hi, um, everyone. Hello. My name is Yolanda Duggar, and I'm Senator at Large for the Center City Campus. Um, I'm a member of AMP under Dr. Powell. So I'm completing some courses to enter into master's to PhD in mathematics. All righty, jump in there. Hello everyone, my name is Christopher Brinkley Pridgen. My major is BHHS, Behavioral Health Human Services. And my position is the incoming um, senator at Main Large Campus. This is my third semester at CCP. And it will be my second semester to take the honor. <laughs> Righty. If I haven't highlighted you yet, please jump in there because I, oddly enough, again, I thought my Zoom. Hi, everyone. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, everyone. My name is Barnabas Morris. I'm majoring in computer networking and I'm incoming senator at a uh, large main campus. And I'm glad to be part of this team. All righty. Keep going. We got some more. Yes, yes. <laughs> Keep Hi, going. My name is Anaya. Um, I'm currently majoring in speech pathology under the healthcare studies program, and I am the incoming center day at large for the regional center. All righty. Keep jumping in there. Are we at the end of introductions? So what I was saying is that besides some of you all's names, it doesn't give me the option to highlight you. I'm not sure. So I was quickly trying to put you in this wonderful circle here. So I think I have to go back to the manual and say, when I don't see the little highlight button, how do I highlight them? So it's not that I- Maybe I, I, some of the SGA people can raise their hands. There and we go. You find them and then you can highlight. Well, I see you. I just that when I touch, when I click on the three dots, it doesn't give me an option to um, highlight you. I don't know why. I'm trying, like, I'm trying. I really want to do this for you because this is your time to shine. So, you know, like, I'm trying to get you what? And when I click on you, it doesn't say highlight. It doesn't give me that option. I'm not sure. So I'm going to... Um, it might limit the number of people you can highlight at once. Maybe that is... Okay, that is uh, Vincent Scarfo, the in-house tech genius. <laughs> okay, 
Oh, I see. Yes, it's giving me a limit. Thanks. Rich. Okay, got you. All righty. So I'm going to um, take the remove the people who first of all, let's say thank you to the outgoing officers. If we can undo uh, unmute ourselves, and then I will be able to add some of our new folks to the um, little Hollywood squares. All righty, so let's unmute ourselves and say thank you. Woohoo, Mo! Go, Mo! Congratulations. Congratulations. You're a winner. You're amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, yes, I'm going to have to, there we go. We thank them, and now I'm going to try to put only the new folks up here. That will that will maybe make some room, okay? Let's see if we can do that. I am going to add our Dina Asensio to the Zoom. Again, Dina Asensio has uh, given us his support. Um, he does <laughs> way much, he does a whole lot. Um, and being in his position takes a lot of a plum, a lot of um, focus on uh, the individuals to ensure that everybody gets what they need, uh, whether they understand it or not. <laughs> um, being academically as a student and being a student um, that, you know, gives a little bit more time. Here we go. That was it. That was it. I was able to add some folks. Um, so let's start. I'm going to give this uh, Zoom mic to our um, Barnabas. I'm trying to get you. I think I'm reached my max again. Uh, but Barnabas, if you could raise your hand, please. And you know what I'll do, Jeff, since we, I'm not on here, I'm going to remove you and, um, but you're never really removed. Okay, let's see if we can get our students up in here. Here we go. It is. So I just learned something new. You can only spotlight X amount of people. I'll count later. <laughs> um, all righty. Did I get everyone? No, I think I'm at a maximum here again. So if you are an incoming officer of student government, <coughs> kindly raise your hands um, to let people know uh, let me see, Jawad. Jawad is, uh, oh, wait, here we go. Oh, yes, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> COVID gives you new skills too, okay? There we go. So I'm going to hand this um, Zoom mic over to our dean, Dean Asensio. You got it. Let's see. Okay. Well, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. All right, perfect. Thank you. Well, um, good afternoon, and I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I want to say congratulations on the election to officer status of the Student Government Association. And, you know, I've been doing this now for over 25 years, and it never gets old. I'm always very proud to, to administer the oath to our incoming Student Government Association. I've been a, a past Student Government President, um, elected twice, and I know what it means to, to serve the student body and to try to uh, um, accomplish some goals and um, really the outgoing um, administration has done a wonderful job and, and I have the same expectation and confidence that the new administration coming in, the student government will do uh, um, you know, a tremendous job as well. We've got a lot of support. And so I look forward to administering the oath. And so please repeat after me. I state your name having read and understood I and I, I, I Chris Chris Marble. 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 Yolanda Duggar, have you read and understood? The Constitution of the Student Government Association. The Constitution of the Student Government Association. To solemnly affirm that I will uphold. To solemnly affirm that I will uphold. Defend and protect. Defend and protect. Constitution of the Student Government Association. The Constitution of the Student Government Association. Of the Community College of Philadelphia. Of the Community College of Philadelphia. And that I will carry out. And that I will carry out. Carry out. Carry out. The duties of name of office. The duties of the treasurer. The duty of the center at large. Responsibly and courteously. Responsibly and courteously. And to the best of my abilities. And to the best of my abilities. Congratulations to the student government officers for the 21-22 academic year. Welcome. 
Congratulations. Unmute yourself, everyone. Thank give you. Them a round. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ahmad, um, as the incoming president, is there anything that you would like to give to the Lion Nation as to your to the collective uh, mission um, and anything that you would like to complete and share a, a 59 seconds, <laughs> what you all um, have aspirations to do. You, you un unmute yourself. Thank you, Shania. Most You're welcome. Um, and Tyree touched on this earlier. Um, he asked us a question, what does it mean to treasure uh, CCP? That means uh, serving uh, your students to the best of their ability, seeing problems um, and, and making sure that they're solved before they become larger. Um, a personal goal of mine is to increase the accessibility of services, um, availability of opportunities, and uh, the flow of information from faculty, uh, teachers, and administration at CCP to the students. So thank you, and I uh, hope it makes it a great year. Thank you, Amai. Give our new incoming president a round of applause. President, president, welcome. Woo! Congratulations. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> I see you have a cheerleading squad behind you. <laughs> yes, I do. You know, absolutely, you. absolutely. Okay, <laughs> we've moved to the new portion of our program. Every year, the Division of Student Development, we absolutely take time out to recognize the excellence in our student leadership. So normally and traditionally, there is a club of the year, a student of the year. Um, there are many one uh, awarded programs or one awarded students or, or departments, but it was disingenuous in terms of understanding that we living, we're living a very different reality. So a very different delivery and approach had to be done. So with the support of everyone, we introduced the Rory's. The Rory's and I'll, uh, it showcases and celebrates our students who amid COVID-19 had displayed extraordinary acts of kindness. The Rory's is our version of the Oscars. Um, they're awarded to, for simple acts of kindness, service, and goodwill. The Rory's capture the spirit of community that has kept our college, our community, neighbors, friends, and families together throughout the pandemic. For the past year of online learning, traditional on-campus service has not been possible um, as much as such, in lieu of our annual student leadership award ceremony, and during this unprecedented time, we are honoring and celebrating all of our students who are leading, serving, volunteering, and doing all acts of kindness in their communities and for those around them. Our students were encouraged to submit, upload 20 second videos. I can say some were a little overzealous. We had one 18 minutes. Um, they were really excited, like, I'm going to show you. But we asked them to submit 20 second videos of themselves or their peers performing or retelling the act of goodwill or service. Each will be awarded a Rory. So every student who uploaded a video will get a virtual certificate of excellence to say thank you. Um, it's beautifully designed and it's a digital certificate and they can download it and frame it. Um, we knew good was being done um, by so many students and we want to recognize their efforts. So we want to thank the many staff and faculty that supported them and took the time who left a note on the kudos board. It's still available. Please do that. Um, our students are superstars and we want to thank them every day, every day for celebrating them. So we are one big lion hearted family. So without further ado, let's look at our Lion Nation in service. All righty. Hello, everybody. My name is Mariah Litt, and I've had the honor of serving as your student body president for the last year. Um, welcome to the Rory's. I really just wanted to introduce myself um, and tell you about some of the stuff we've been working on this semester. We've started a peer to peer mentorship program um, that will allow us to connect second year students with first year students. And um, we've managed to have some virtual events happen that have been really successful. So again, thank you for participating in some of our events and 
It was a pleasure serving you. This video, I'd like to nominate Isabella Medina for being a really valued officer in the Student Government Association. She's our media and events coordinator, and she has worked overtime to make sure that we've been able to post our events on Pride Portal, be in touch with um, the CCP Student Development Office, and our Instagram takeover. So thanks, Isabella. Video, I would like to nominate Rama Arab for a Rory. Um, she is our second vice president, and she has been really helpful in helping us navigate all of our events. Um, she showed up at all of our meetings, and I just really appreciate the contributions that she's made. So thank you, Rama. Um, I wanted to also nominate our first vice president, Miriam, for a Rory. She is not just our first vice president, but she also is our acting secretary, and she's been really helpful in taking minutes for all of our meetings, making sure that we're all on the same page, keeping track of our agendas. Um, so thank you, Miriam. On behalf of the Institute for Community Engagement and Civic Leadership, I want to recognize the service of Ahmad Mitchell. Ahmad has served on our hashtag CCP Votes team since fall of 2020, participating in numerous safe and socially distanced tabling events, online presentations, team planning meetings, and student speaker roles. Ahmad, thank you for all that you do. The Institute for Community Engagement and Civic Leadership thanks Heather Sizemore for her role with the hashtag CCP Votes team since the fall of 2020. Her continued enthusiasm during the tabling and online events she has helped plan and carry out have positively impacted the number of new registrants our city has seen. Thank you, Heather, for all that you do. Hi, my name is Aaron Anil. I'm working as a pharmacy technician at CVS Pharmacy. I'm currently helping with the COVID vaccine clinics. That's it. Thank you. We spoke with the elderly, talking about oral cancers and the importance of brushing, flossing, and keeping your dentures clean. The Institute for Community Engagement and Civic Leadership thanks Russell Shelton for his role in the Next Steps AmeriCorps program since the fall of 2020. Thus far, he has completed over 200 hours of service involving both volunteering with Philly Reading Coaches as a site coordinator, facilitating reading coaching sessions for young children, and mentoring a first-year student at the college. Russell, thank you for all that you do. Hello. We're some of the faculty in the clinic, in the dental hygiene clinic here at CCP. And the clinic has been open since September, so we're happy to, to be able to provide service to our patients. And we're excited that we're open. Yeah. We've been doing service to the community for over 30 years, so we're happy to continue. Thank you. The Institute for Community Engagement and Civic Leadership thanks Yasmin Ibrahim for her role in the Next Steps AmeriCorps program since the fall of 2020. Thus far, she has completed over 200 hours of service involving volunteering with Philly Reading Coaches as a site coordinator, mentoring a first-year student at the college, as well as high school students. Yasmin, thank you for all that you do. Good afternoon. My name is Katherine Nodolski. I am a student of ESL English uh, Institute and CCP. And I want to share with you guys what I did during this pandemic time. Um, I had the great opportunity to be volunteer and support the food distribution logistic with the Puerto Rican Civic Association in the area that I live. We do this event on the first Friday of H1 month. Thank you. Hello, guys. Uh, we talked about... Um, uh, flossing, brushing to eight and 11 year olds. They had a blast and we taught them a lot of things. Okay, so we visited a, a soccer team and we talked to them about um, 
you know, using different mouth guards that will help protect them when they're um, playing their sports. We also encourage them to rinse with um, water instead of sports drinks in between their games and practices. The Institute for Community Engagement and Civic Leadership thanks Eden Galan for her role in the Project Career Launch Program since the fall of 2020. Since then, she's been committed to mentoring high school students to assist them in transitioning to both higher education and into the workforce, making sure that they have what they need to be successful. Eden, thank you for all that you do. So during COVID, I continued my work as a home health care worker. And what that, what that meant was that I had to assist my father in running everyday errands for him. Uh, because he was medically compromised, he could not go to the grocery store, do laundry for himself. He was not able to, uh, uh, he needed assistance when it came to medical appointments that he had. So that was something I spent a lot of my time during COVID um, assisting with. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm the, the dental hygiene clinic at CCP. This semester, I was able to visit St. Jerome's Elementary School and teach children uh, from the age three to five about home care and developing the proper techniques for a bright smile, a bright future with a healthy mouth. So we met with the sports youth athlete team, their soccer team, and they were ages 11 to 13. And we talked to them about the sugar content in sports drinks such as Powerade and Gatorade and the effects that that has on their teeth. And we also talked about proper home care, such as the bath technique, proper flossing and brushing. And we really think we made an impact to the team. The Institute for Community Engagement and Civic Leadership thanks Samantha Arcila Oliveira for her role in the Project Career Launch Program since the fall of 2020. She has been mentoring high school students to assist them in their transition both to higher education and into the workforce with enthusiasm and with passion. Samantha, thank you for all that you do. Hello. We're the dental hygiene class of 2021. And we went out to the Cherry Hill Senior Living and we talked about the importance of better care and how it is very important to take out your teeth every night and soak them in water. Um, I went to Penn Alexander School. We visited third to fifth graders and we taught them proper ways to wash and fold to their happiness. I was in the same group as um, as, as, as her. Um, and uh, yeah, it was great working with the three to fifth grade uh, kids. Everyone remember proper home care. Yeah. My hope is to spread the good news, first of all, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, through our ministry, to reach people in our church and in the surrounding areas that we minister to of who we are, so that there's someone that might hear this video or come to this event and they have a family member who's sick and suffering, someone who's hurting and we could help. And that's the one I want to reach. You need any prayers? We got what we're doing here is, is giving God's word to people. We're encouraging, we're, we're lifting up. You need a place to get off the street, man. You need to be delivered. We're reaching people who, who sometimes think they're unlovable, they're uh, they're unwanted, they're, they don't deserve happiness. With the epidemic that's going on, um, with the opiates, with the heroin especially, it's the only way that people are going to really c come around. And God is large and in charge. Who preaches that? Anybody, please! It's one thing to get the clothes, it's one thing to get the food, but there's a deep craving, a vacuum-sized hole inside of you that only Jesus can fill. And I'm just grateful that God cares about everybody, that he would just send us down here to love through simple acts of kindness, by giving them food, by giving them the word, praying. So I hope that you know that Lion Nation stays strong. And this is just a small piece of evidence. I had to take a breath because it should touch you. 
There is never a time where you can't do. So we wanted to commend any student who had the chance or didn't even have the chance to upload a video because we know good is being done. It's the only way that we're gonna make it through this very unprecedented, challenging time. People are losing lives, but with help one to another, we've made everyone or at least attempted to make everyone feel alive. So Lion Nation, unmute yourself and give yourself a round of applause. Well done, Great. everyone. Wonderful. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. I'm going to do this gallery view because I'm not sure if I'm the only one seeing me like this, but um, there we go. Okay, so back to the program. So this is something that is not a one and done. We hope to continue to celebrate the good and the goodwill and the service because it's happening. It's the only way we're going to get through this. I want to highlight the Rory's page. So this is where we have taken the time to highlight our student leaders. So un even though we're unable to come together, we want to make sure all of our students know you did more, you did more, you did more, and you're to be highlighted. So today we highlight you on this virtual page um, as a member of this college. Um, it's in the chat. We have congratulatory videos from our president, our vice president, all of our uh, faculty advisors. So at your leisure, please click on them. You know, and why we're we celebrating this? Uh, again, I've explained to you why we did this because we know good is being done, and we are the Office of Student Engagement, and um, we do this. Um, with lots of passion and a lot of, um, of, of, of energy. Phi Theta Kappa, um, again, we want to recognize all the newly inducted officers, excuse me, the officers from this semester and last semester, you're listed, along with the newly inducted students. We were not able to come together uh, in person, unfortunately, but last semester's inductees and this semester inductees, as you can see, it's a long list of smarties um, that is listed on this page. Our student government officers uh, from the spring and fall are also listed. Um, and our Vanguard officers from last semester and this semester is also listed. We want to say, you know, shout out to our student clubs. It is, it is anytime you do anything outside of the classroom, um, it should be applauded because we understand that in student affairs, there is, uh, is where theory meets practice. So we want you to continue to meet outside the classroom and network and, and, and showcase uh, your work. So thank you, Biology Club, Clemency Club, Christian Women and Men Alliance, our Cybersecurity Club, our Dental Graduate Club, our Math Club, and our Studio Art Club. You did it. You were determined. Our online um, student leadership certificate earners, there were platinum certificates given and silver certificates uh, given. These students attended one month, uh, one workshop each month, and they learned um, a lot. So we wanted to make sure they understood that they were to be rewarded. So again, if we can all unmute ourselves and give all of these students our exorbitant amount, a round of applause. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, appreciate you. So we have reached um, a very important part of the program. Um, it's the thank yous. The thank you. Um, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. So on behalf of Community College of Philadelphia, on behalf of the Division of Student Development, the Office of Student Engagement, the Center for Student Leadership Development, I wanna first thank our president, Dr. Guy Generals, our vice president, Dr. Samuel Hirsch, our dean, our dean, David Asensio, we truly thank you. You do things seen and unseen to make this machine works. It is a lot of work. And sometimes it's not what you do in front of a podium, it's what you do behind, uh, sometimes a car, <laughs> sometimes um, on the phone, on a text, after hours. We appreciate you. Thank you so, so, so much. I wanna thank Richard Kopp, the assistant dean, uh, for keeping the standards of excellence alive. Richard does so much. And we thank you for supporting this innovative idea. No, idea is just an idea until you get support and you get um, people to champion um, things that come to you in the middle of the night, okay? But you have to have people who get it. And we thank you. I wanna thank Sajid, the marketing, marketing just, 
She's a brilliant marketer. I want to thank her for all the uh, help and the work and support that she does. Um, you all just don't understand what it takes to put on this program, especially virtually. We want to thank you. I want to thank Ida Swindle Jewel and Prisetta Arrington and Bernadette McCartry and Kelly Brown and all of our support staff in the Office of Student Engagement, Juanita Henry. Um, Vincent Scarfo, our entire team, Dion Easton, we we are a team. Um, it's one thing to be a staff, but we are a team and we thank you all. And last but not least, um, marketing communications. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, marketing communications. Um, I think we live inside your office uh, most of the time. But again, it takes a lion nation to stay lion strong. We want to thank you all for taking out the time. I hope I didn't miss anybody because boy, oh boy, um, it is a lot of people to thank. So um, blame it on my head and not my heart. Um, but we thank you for taking out your time, Lion Nation, for coming and supporting this program because it is student-centered. So thank you so much. And without further ado, enjoy the rest of your day and stay Lion Strong. Thank you, Jenny. Good luck your day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Excellent thank you. program. Thank you all. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Navia. Great job moderating. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Pleasure seeing everybody. It's a pleasure.